Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update, Russia, Turkey, and Iran, peacemakers in Syria. And we are at uh, August 9, 2017. Scripture references out of Ezekiel 38, verses 1 through 3. Uh, I'm going to cut some of these short. Uh, the word of the Lord came to me saying, uh, Son of man, set your face toward Gog of the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. Uh, Ezekiel 38, verse 6, Gomer and all his hordes, Beth the Garma, from the uttermost parts of the north, with all his hordes, many peoples are with you. And lastly, Ezekiel 38, 5, Persia, Ethiopian, put with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Now, if you're interested into the direct references and the uh, research as far as who these family names belong to what modern-day company country, Check out paulthepoke.com. Ezekiel 38, 39 is the category. And bottom line is Ezekiel 38 and 39 says Russia, allied with Turkey, Iran, and others are going to invade Israel from the north. And let's look who is getting together to form an alliance for peace on Israel's northern border in Syria. And we go to today and yesterday, August 8 and 9, uh, Turkey, Iran, and Russia are having peace talks about safe zones in Syria. Now, the location of this discussion is over here in Tehran, Iran. Clear over here to the east of all the action and all the color, which is uh, Syria. So we're going to zero in on Syria and get a little tighter. And you can see there's plenty going on there. Safe zones, mind you. Um and this is according to Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. And according to Sergei Lavrov, there are three operating safe zones in Syria. They include southern Syria, which is down here, and that would be in this area around Dat Ra, and up here in Qunitra, which is literally on the Israeli border on the Golan Heights. The second one, allegedly, is eastern Guta. Now they say this is a safe zone and they're fighting like cats and dogs over here. We've got video of this over here in the right hand column, but they've got all kinds of bombing going on between Syrian government forces and the quote rebels, the uh, Sunni rebels, Al Qaeda, Al Nusra in Syria. And then lastly, uh, allegedly safe zone would be uh, north up here of Homs, between Homs and Hama. Uh, this is supposed to be a safe zone. And the last area that they want to declare to have a safe zone is up here in the Idlib province. And they say this is much more difficult as far as establishing a peace safe zone. But allegedly, these safe zones were brokered on May 4, 2017, Turkey, Iran, and Russia signed the deal to establish the safe zones in Syria. These three are the ones brokering the, quote, peace. Now, more discussion is scheduled for later in August of this month, 2017. Now, that report is out of the Daily Sabah, which is in Turkey. And I have a link provided below, dailysabah.com, Turkey, Iran, Russia, to hold Syria talks in Tehran. Uh, August 9th, again, that'd be today, a peace deal has been brokered and reached in Cairo, Egypt regarding a safe zone. And this meeting was between the Russian Defense Ministry and Syrian opposition. The safe zone area is between Hama and Homs. And that would be this area right up here. So we have two people confirming that, okay, we've got a, quote, safe zone right here. And uh, Hama is what is referred to as ancient Hamath in Jeremiah 49 and Homs to the south. Again, Russia, Turkey, and Iran are the enforcers of the ceasefire. And this uh, article is out of Sputnik News in Russia. Sputniknews.com, Syrian opposition de-escalation zone deal. And then we go back to yesterday August 8. And uh, Israel had secret talks with Russians and the United States. 
meetings reportedly took place in Europe and Jordan. I mean, so we've got meetings in Iran, Egypt, Europe, and Jordan, and everybody's having their own secret little deal. Uh, now, the Israeli concern is the increased presence of Iranian troops near the border in the Golan Heights. Now, the Golan Heights, as a reminder, is this little blue area up here in um, northern Israel. And there's the Sea of Galilee down here to the southwest of the Golan Heights. Uh, and here is the official statement from Israel. Senior Israeli officials said that the main dispute was that Americans and the Russians see the ceasefire in southern Syria and the safe zones as a practical and tactical means of stabilizing the situation and enable a focus of wiping out ISIS, lowering the flames of civil war. Israel, however, believes that the agreement should be considered from a long-term strategic perspective and should focus on what the extent of Iranian influence will be in Syria after the civil war ends. The Israelis told their interlocutors that the agreement should provide a solution not regarding Iranian presence in the 20 kilometers from the Israeli border. And so that would be this area right, right in here, uh, in the green. Well, that's where the rebels are, but they're concerned about uh, Iran being in the red. That's where the Shia and Russian supported troops are, which clearly down here to Dara is clearly within the 20 kilometers. So, but they're not only concerned about that, but they're concerned about Iran being in Syria in general. And a senior Israeli official said that the Israelis told the Russians and the Americans that they had to demand from the Iranians that the Revolutionary Guards, Hezbollah, and the Shiite militias in, the, in Syria must leave the country. Well, I mean, they can demand that, but that's not going to happen. I mean, essentially, is what we have setting up across Syria, uh, when this all plays out, is probably a swath of Shia she had dominated uh, troops from, from Iran all the way to the Mediterranean. I mean, it's going to be a big Shia strip, and you're going to have the Muslim Brotherhood Sunnis up here in the north, and you're going to have the uh, Wahhabi Sunnis down here in the south. Uh, but that, that particular information uh, regarding the Israeli comments is going to be from southfront.org, and that's a global intelligence agency. And there's a link provided for that as well, Israeli held secret talks with Russia, U.S., an attempt to reduce growing Iranian influence in Syria. So more troops, bottom line, more troops are going to have to be pumped into this area to uh, keep the necessary peace. And that means more Russian troops, more Turkey troops, and more Iranian troops. And so this is escalating faster than earlier plans even revealed by the Russians. And so with all this talk of peace, no, this is coming up in September. The United Nations International Peace Day, scheduled for September 21st, 2017. This also coincides with the start of God's appointed fall feasts. Now, this year's theme from the wonderful United Nations International Day of Peace, Together for Peace, Respect, Safety, and Dignity for All. And you can check that link out, uh, internationaldayofpeace.org. Now, for those of you who have not made a decision on Jesus Christ, you might want to think about it. Did he really die for sin? That's the question. It's time to be vigilant and pay attention. And the reminder is out of 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 3, while they are saying, Peace and safety, then destruction will come upon them suddenly like labor pains upon a woman with child, and they will not escape. There's a lot of talk going on about peace, and we're having meetings all over the Middle East and Egypt and Europe. Europe. And I mean, we we're getting hot and heavy about let's let's have peace, let's have peace. According to the Bible, that's the time to get concerned. So, uh, if you're interested in these sorts of things, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com. Keywords: Russia, Turkey, Iran, peace, Syria, uh, Ezekiel 38 and 39. Thank you guys for listening. Take care. Have a good evening.